Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be doing an unboxing. The first unboxing, might I add, to 2023. And totally unexpected, okay? It hasn't even been on any past wish lists, I don't think. That is how unexpected and impulsive it was. It was one of those things that I just woke up one morning and I was like, you know what? I want that bag. But before we get into things, for the people that are already here, hello, hello, hello. I love you so much. Thank you for still being here. But to anyone who's new, then please, if you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday and we focus on fashion and luxury. Without further ado, let's dive into this unboxing. Okay, so here she is in this bag. I'm just going to give you a little backtrack backtrack backdrop as to why I actually purchased this bag to begin with. I woke up one morning and decided I'm so tired of having only two everyday bags because the two bags that I literally switch between is my sac de jour which is currently what I'm using now and my pochette matisse which is sitting beautifully up there so yeah that was literally it one morning I woke up I was like I'm fed up of using the sac de jour I'm fed up of using the pochette matisse all the time I want a new everyday bag and I obviously asked my lovely Hermes fairy and she hooked me up <laughs> <laughs> with exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to show you this little drawing which I got whilst I was in store. How cute is that? That's meant to be me, by the way. Doesn't look anything like me, but I was wearing the exact clothing that, like, this is my John coat. I had a scarf that looked like this in white and black, and my hair, I had the strands hanging. And yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. I loved this. And random, by the way, I was just standing there having a conversation with one of the other essays while I was waiting for my essay. And she drew me while I was standing there. She was like, I'm so sorry I didn't draw your husband. I was like, oh, do you know what? You drew me, that's more than enough. <laughs> Really, really sweet of her to do. Um, but okay, let's jump into it now because I'm jibber jabbering as always. Oh my goodness, can you guys guess what this bag is? I think you'll be surprised when you see it if you haven't guessed what it is. So you've got your little booklet right over here. This is the care booklet. And inside this beautiful box and dust bag, there is a. Dun, 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 a mini Evelyn guys now I don't have any mini Evelyn's I've done a video recently talking about how I wish they'd done a size in between the mini Evelyn and the PM size because the PM size is humongous and yeah I ended up getting the mini Evelyn inside here you have another dust bag and this is where the strap is da -da 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 -da. let's take it out I've still got the plastic on here I'm not gonna bother taking off the plastic on this one and there we have it my mini Evelyn in Grizz Mayer. Now, well, sorry, I say Grizz, Gri Mayer. I'm in love with the color. It's got gold hardware, which was perfect. Inside is unlined, so you have this raw leather material. Raw leather material, untreated, you know, it's just. Ah, it feels nice. The bag was actually designed in 1978 and originally it was designed for horses, okay? You put all your tools like your brushes and etc etc inside. The perforation on the front of the bag is meant to let air inside so that all your tools like your brushes etc would dry up but because of today and fashion nobody wears it. <laughs> the front way they always wear it this way which isn't actually that's why the buttons at the front here you know it doesn't make sense to put a button at the back of a bag does it also because the strap is in canvas it is very 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 comfortable i had the choice between this color and nata and if i'm completely honest with you originally i would have loved to have got the nata and it's what i had intended on getting However, the practical side of me came out because if I intend on using this bag as an everyday bag, Nata will 100% get dirty and show. And the fact that the strap as well is in a light color, in a matter of weeks, it would probably get dirty. So I was like, okay, practicality. Am I buying this bag for everyday use or am I buying it to wear every now and then? Everyday bag, okay, scratch that. We're not looking at Nata anymore. We're gonna get something that's darker, something that will hide dirt better. I love, love, love the way the gold looks on the gray. It just looks absolutely stunning. The combination is 
beautiful. And now obviously because we love to look after our bags and keep them pristine and perfect and just oh, looking good for the next lifetime of my life. <laughs> I had to get an insert and usually I do use 7 RP inserts but they weren't able to get me an insert in time for this video so I scoured the depths of the internet and amongst my hunting and <laughs> looking I came across this company on Etsy Etsy is my new place by the way I love Etsy so so much because there's so much random stuff and you're like oh my gosh why didn't I look here before <laughs> There is so so much and this is from a brand company a little company based in Thailand called Minda and they make these faux suede inserts when I say I was pleasantly surprised I was pleasantly surprised these are amazing like they they they, they feel really good they're very well made and when we pop it in it looks like da -da 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 -da. Oh, look at that. It's literally the perfect fit. Ah! It looks so good, you guys. Look at that. Perfect fit. You've got some pockets on the side. You guys know me. It takes a lot for me to recommend anything. Because <laughs> I like to use things myself and I like to... And this is... Look at that. It just it slides in really, really well. It's not too high up either, which I like. This is what it looks like on. Very, very comfortable. And actually, upon trying it on... I think I might shorten it just a little bit. I think it would look good if it was around here. Just a little bit shorter so it sits more on my waist as opposed to past it. You've got this little button here. The pop button is covered in leather, which I had no idea. I'm all about the details, guys. <laughs> the Hermes stamp on the strap right over there. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna shorten it. I like it shorter. Looks good. Looks really, really nice. Oh, I love it so much. I love the color. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is what it would look like if I shorted it to a shoulder bag level. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little separate video on like maybe styling the bag and how you could style it in different ways. Shockingly, I think I'll wear it like this. You know that I like this side more, which is very, very, very... <laughs> Um, what's the word? Like most people wear it like this. They never wear it the other way. I don't mind it like this, but I don't know. I just like this side much more because it's plain. There's nothing to it. It just looks nice. And then when I'm feeling like it, I, I might switch it up, but this will probably be the way that I wear it. And it's just a personal preference. I just like the way that it looks like this, you know, very, very, very understated. I mean, more love now that I've tried it on. You know, when you haven't seen something for a while and you're like, um, did I make the right purchase? <laughs> and now I've put it on, I'm like, I definitely made the right purchase. Now I'm gonna show you what fits inside this little cutie patootie. So we're gonna do this little, what fits inside my bag a little bit differently because I can't stand this bag up. It's a floppy, it's a floppy little bag. So I'm gonna take stuff directly from my current bag, which is filled up with all of its stuff and I'm going to put it in the insert and then I'm going to transfer it into here and we'll see just what fits. With the insert, let's start with my phone. Not that I ever put my phone in my bag, but we're going to do it anyway, just for the purpose of this video. And that goes there. My issue actually might be the card holder. My Chanel card holder is quite the thick little schnickums. I need to change this ASAP because it is so chunky. It's too chunky for my liking. Look at this, it literally takes up most of it over here. Do you see that? It's, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Too big, too big, too big. We're gonna put the Bastion. Can never go wrong with some hand wipes. Then, what else am I gonna put? I'm gonna put in a lipstick. This is what it looks like at the moment with a very, very, very full inside, okay? It is mini and it means mini when we look at this bag. I think if we took this out, it would look much, much better. So I would definitely get rid of this one and put the Calvi in here 100%. I just haven't got around to doing it. And as you guys can see, once I remove this really chunky card holder, it just, it goes down in size dramatically. So I think I definitely need my Calvi for this. It's not as roomy as you would think with the insert. So now I'm gonna show you what fits inside without the insert and see how 
things look because like it's a soft leather right you want to see how it looks without the insert so we're gonna start with the phone because the phone is important and it definitely goes down a lot more as you guys can see it was slightly up here before but it's much lower now without the insert we're gonna put some glasses in the Chanel card holder, my Bastia in, some hand wipes, some cards, and then we can even put a, a bag holder in, but I'm not gonna use on this bag, so it would be pretty pointless to take it, but I'm trying to show you guys just how much fits without the insert. And that's how it looks with it, I mean, pretty much packed. My only issue is, can you see that? Look at that, it's so distorted. So I would not ever use this bag without an insert. My iPhone Pro Max is way too big for it. You can already see with the way that it like, like look at, just by trying to close it. It kind of misshapes the bag completely and just, no, 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 no. And minus the phone, this is what it looks like, which it's a lot, 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 lot better. Um, but again, I would never ever use it without an insert because I do like the organization that the insert gives. Lastly, we are gonna look at the price, guys, because let me tell you something. I was so surprised <laughs> when I found out the price of this bag, like pleasantly surprised. I thought that the bag was 1,800 and something, right? That's what I had seen online somewhere. So I just accepted the fact that I was gonna pay 1,800 and something for this bag, right? Anyways, get to store, get to the till, see the price. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. The actual price of the bag is 1,300 and let me double check because, da, 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 da. where is it, where is it, where is it? 1,370. You guys have no idea how much I was jumping for joy inside because I was basically in debate about getting this or the PM size and the PM size I think is just over 2,000 but I'm not even sure anymore because the prices I was looking at were completely off. I mean, 1800 for this and that wasn't the case. So here she is, my beautiful mini Evelyn or the Evelyn TPM size with gold hardware, which I'm in love with <laughs> in Gris Maya. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful start to the week. I shall catch you in Wednesday's video. Take care, bye.